from the strike. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Van Exel's got eight here in this quarter. Well, they have leaned on him offensively with good reason. Efficiency will help you win a lot of games. Here's McGinnis. Pass to Irving. The shot comes out. Jones with some nice D. The Lakers lead by four. Here's Ori, defended by Jones. Jones with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Outside Jones. Pass to Van Exel for three. Well, he hit a couple of threes in the first half, but none since then. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. Here's Bibby. Now Irving, defended by Jones. Shoots a fadeaway. And Irving, the bucket on the assist by Collins. Irving's got nine points here in the second half. So it's Los Angeles now. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Van Exel. Screen by O'Neal. He shoots. Van Exel gets the bucket. Van Exel's got 25 points in the game. Woo, he is dangerous right now. Five for seven in this all-important fourth quarter. Collins outside. The officials were right on top of that one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, I love how aggressive they've been. They've been taking it right into contact, and then they're going to the line and converting. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. The first one falls. on both and they've done well from the free throw line this half no misses yet the Lakers lead by four Bryant outside here's O'Neal and it's blocked by Irving and he recovers it here's Bibby Pass to McGinnis, the six-footer. And all around the rim that time before dropping. High-value assist there, finding him inside for the finish. Here's Van Exel. Left side, Jones. Left side, O'Neal. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. Good on the second one. 76ers trail by five. Irving looking around. Takes it inside. Here's Mix. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Pass to Van Exel. And here's O'Neal. Here's Horry. Just five on the clock. Takes one from 10 feet. Rebound by Philadelphia. A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The drive by Irving. And Irving powers it home. I just love 
the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That free throw good from Irving. Yeah, he's a guy you want at the line and clearly not affected by the moment. left in the final quarter. Here's Bryant inside. Collins defending. Bryant, no good. I mean, come on. That's a shot you expect him to make. Here's Mix. No good. That would have tied it. The Lakers in the lead. Jones, the pass to Van Exel. And then Bryant with the dunk. Well, when you move the ball, you open up the defense. Great job to make the unselfish play. Here's Bibby. Pass to Irving. Jones with some nice D. O'Neal with it. Irving picks him up. Here's Bryant. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard the 76ers coach as he addressed the team. He encourages guys to stick with it, saying, I don't care what the scoreboard says. If we can play hard, that's all that matters. We can be the stronger team. So that's what coach is looking for. Great work, Allie. Thanks. the Lakers moving it up on the wing Bryant Collins defending Bryant no good well he's more than comfortable in the mid-range but you can't make them all pass to Bibby wide open he connects and now they trail by just four Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra He gets the first, and that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game. That's exactly how to close out a game. Take advantage of every opportunity. You. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Collins. And it's rejected. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And it looks like they just won't have enough left here at the end. Yeah, they simply ran out of time and energy. It falls! And now they trail by just four. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And the second of two is good. And that puts him up five. Pass to McGinnis. The three is up. Collins, no good. So it's Los Angeles picking up the win. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. But a win's a win. And it's so true, but you have to credit the...